hello to everyone watching this today hello. and a special hello to Emmanuel, Lily, Eloise, James and Caleb. We're going to start with a song about a man in the Bible who God helped to be very brave. His name was Daniel. There was a man called Our story today is about another man who was very brave. Being brave means being ready to face danger, pain, fear or difficulty. The person we're thinking of today is Stephen. Stephen was a kind man who loved God. He's, he was one of the first Christians who became part of the church after Jesus went back to heaven. Other followers of Jesus thought highly of Stephen. When the apostles, that's the new name given to Jesus' closest disciples, needed helpers to do a special job, Stephen was chosen. He made sure that the women who were poor got enough food. Stephen loved to tell people about the Lord Jesus. He told them that he was God's son, that he had died for their sins and had come back to life and that they could be forgiven for the wrong things they'd done. God was pleased with Stephen and gave him the power to do miracles which showed that what he was saying was true. Some troublemakers disagreed with what Stephen was saying. They didn't like him teaching people about Jesus. They tried to argue with him, but Stephen always gave good answers. They wanted to get him into trouble, but they couldn't find anything that he'd done wrong. So they spread lies about him. They tried to make the leaders and the ordinary people hate him. They grabbed hold of Stephen and brought him to the religious leaders. These were the same leaders who had arrested the apostles and put them in prison, which we heard about last week. They brought in the men that they had persuaded to tell lies about him. Do you think Stephen was scared? The Bible tells us that those looking at Stephen saw that his face was like the face of an angel. Our verse today is from Psalm 118 verse 6. The Lord is with me, I will not be afraid. At the end of this session, Angela will show you how to do a craft with this verse. Remember, the Lord is with me, I will not be afraid. Stephen made a speech in front of the leaders and people around about. Was he trying to get himself out of trouble? No, he wanted to tell them about Jesus. Stephen told the leaders that they were the ones who had killed Jesus, the Saviour sent by God. How do you think the leaders felt when they heard that? They were very angry. But Stephen wasn't worried about them because he saw something very special. As he looked up, he saw heaven full of God's glory. Look, he said, I can see heaven and Jesus standing at the right side of God. 
This made them even angrier. They covered their ears because they didn't want to hear any more. They started yelling and they all rushed towards Stephen. They dragged him outside the city and there they threw heavy stones at him. Those involved took off their outer clothes and left them with a young man called Saul. He was later to become a follower of Jesus and had his name changed to Paul. While they were stoning him, Stephen prayed. His prayers were like Jesus' prayers on the cross. He said, Lord, receive my spirit. Then he fell on his knees and cried out, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. When he had said this, he died and went to be with Jesus. Sometimes Jesus' followers are hurt and even killed for speaking about him. But Jesus is near to them and helps them to be brave. If you are treated unkindly, remember you can tell God about it. You can ask God to help you do and say what is right. You can ask God to make you brave. You can pray for the person who is unkind to you. Remember, the Lord is with me. I will not be afraid. Let's talk to God now. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the Lord Jesus. We thank you that he died for us and that we can be forgiven if we trust in him. And we thank you for your Holy Spirit, which can help us when we need to be brave. Father, just help us when we find things difficult that we might pray to you and know your help. And help us to be able to forgive those who are unkind to us and to be able to pray for them too. We ask these things in the name of Jesus. Amen. Our last song is Be Bold, Be Strong, for the Lord your God is with you. Sparkles, it's lovely to be with you again. I hope you're all keeping well. Now it's time for our activity. And in our story today, we were hearing how stones were used in a very bad way. So, so as to remember how to use stones in a nice way, we're going to make a plaque in the shape of a stone. And on it is going to be our memory verse at least the first part of the memory verse, because of space. So we're going to form the letters of the Lord is with me and decorate them afterwards. Now you can use all sorts of things to decorate letters. And in this case, I've used some tissue paper, which is very, very easy to use. And it scrunches down really, really well. And it sticks to the glue really well as, as well. So you can use that. Or you can use other things such as rice, or wool, um, tin foil, and I've in fact done one 
using some gold foil that I had and it was around an Easter egg and I happened to save it and that works very well too. So I haven't quite finished it as you can see. I've left that letter so that I can show you how it works without spending too much time. Now the first thing you need to do is to make your stone shape and as always we need card and good old cereal packets come in handy for that and I've drawn a kind of a stone shape on my card. Stones vary in shape but Majority of stones are that kind of shape, so that's what I chose to do. So when you've drawn that, you just need to cut it out. And this is where this one comes in. As you can see, it's already cut out. Now you need to form your letters first of all with your pen or your pencil. Um, it helps as a guide. And if I show you this one, you can see here I've written out the letters of the first part of the verse and do it quite big, as big as you can, because that gives you a bit more space to use your decoration, makes it a little bit easier. So having written all that on, you then need to get what you're going to use to decorate it with now. As I showed you before, I've used some gold foil, which I have here. And I've already done most of it. So I'm just going to quickly show you how it works. And you don't need too much at a time. You just need to cut out some small pieces. So I'm just going to do that now. And I'm going to cut that again like that. That might even just be enough, we'll see. And then you need your glue and don't try and get the glue just on the line, it doesn't really matter because if you're using quick stick it, it dries very quickly anyway. Just make sure there's plenty of glue over the whole letter and then you can start to scrunch it down a bit like this. And be careful with this if it's foil because it, it does tear quite easily. But then you can begin to just follow the shape of your letter. As you can see, I'm turning it round. I'm doing the letter E there. I need another piece. I'm going to scrunch that up as well. And carry on forming my E it does stick it may not seem like it's going to stick at first but it does so I just need another little piece there don't I do that last part of the letter Scrunch it up. Yeah, I think that's my E finished. So if I turn that round and you can see that the verse is now complete. The Lord is with me. So it's not difficult. Um, obviously don't rush it when you're doing these letters so that uh, you can make out the letters afterwards. So you do, you do need to be a little bit careful otherwise it might just look a mess and you won't be able to make out what the words are. So having done that then you need to make a stand for it or you could hang it up if you wanted to with a string, make a hole. But I'm going to make a stand today and if you remember a few weeks back when we were making clocks I showed you how to make a stand then. So again with your cereal packet if you're using one these 
end flaps like this are just perfect. So I'm going to cut one of these out now. But if you have, if you're using something else, it doesn't matter. All you really need is just a, a long strip. There we go, that's that. And then you need to fold down a little bit. I'm just going to fold down that edge there because that's the part that you're going to stick onto the back and then you need to fold the other bit back to the other side of where you've made that other fold so you've got that kind of shape and then you need to glue it on make sure you've got your plant the right way up then put some glue on the end there, put that in the centre, about there's the centre I think, doesn't matter about the fact that it's got the cereal packet showing on the back because you're not going to see that. And then this part you need to sellotape to the bottom, so I'm going to get my sellotape. Just put it halfway over. So you've still got this bit there, and then that will stick to the bottom. You can just fold that over like that. And stick that down and then it stands up nicely so there you go quite simple I think there's my two one with tissue one with foil and with whatever else you might care to use you can do the same now if you don't fancy doing that you could do it a different way but if you only, of course, have a garden. Now, I went out in my garden and I found this great big stone, really heavy. And if you like, if you can find something like that, you can just get your felt tip pen and write the words on the stone. And then you can use that as a paperweight or, I think in this case, even a doorstop because it really is very heavy. So that would be a very quick way of doing the same kind of thing. So it's entirely up to you. There's some ideas for you. So I hope you'll enjoy doing that. And I hope you stay safe. And I'll see you again. Bye.